Hello my dear friends, welcome to the electronic channel, this is Uncle Misha and today we're gonna take a look at this um, newly acquired Lexar Professional SD card so we're gonna do, well not much really to do here on the bench just gonna do a little unboxing, just cut the box out and take a look at um, uh, what's going on in the box <laughs> well, yeah, you can pretty much see everything but also we're gonna run some uh, performance tests to see how good it is how fast it is because what they claim they claim up to 160 megabyte per second read and 120 megabyte per second write megabyte megabyte or megabit yeah this is the question we're gonna take a look at that mm, okay this is 1066 uh, speed micro SD card it ha uh, has also adapter I'm also curious if using adapter will be faster or well, faster definitely not slower than using micro SD slot well, I've never actually done this test before yeah here we are so guys and also want to emphasize if you would like to see more content like this or uh, any other repair video please uh, subscribe uh, ring a bell like this video or comment under it to have my content rise to the top and thank you and let's continue and for continuing we need to find some kind of cutting tools uh, which were around here somewhere and the cutting tools are ready okay just let's cut it on this along this line pull this out so this is as simple as it gets there is nothing else included because sometimes some of those companies include some kind of software but not this time there is, there is no little you know anything uh, does it have what kind of warranty okay of course it's not liable for anything probably one year warranty says nothing really no nothing okay hey it's oh it's a that's easy. All right, and we have SD card and uh, adapter, micro SD card and adapter. Of course, product of China. So, let's get our computer and uh, card reader. Card reader going to be Sandy's card reader, which actually features in this featured in this video. It was yielding good results for me. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna t uh, run tests on uh, using that and uh, also I don't really have any other card readers to actually compare so we're gonna run with what we have but if I find something along the way some other card reader just to compare I will use it Alright, so after running those benchmarks, as you see uh, on the screens right here, this is quite a bit disappointment. Here's the advertised speeds. It is nowhere near there. So read we got like maximum 19 some circumstances and write is even more pathetic. So guys, just keep in mind that this is not what it is. I like it, you don't have to have like high-end super pooper laptop or PC in order to test this this any kind of USB 3 controller supposed to drive this thing with these speeds if they are true so I still gonna keep it because I bought it for like $20 or something to this extent I gonna keep it uh, because I uh, for uh, it's nice yeah, to, to have it in, uh, in a cell phone just I like to take a lot of pictures and uh, the card I have 64 gig actually is filling up also gonna drop a lot of music there uh, yeah in mp3 format or sorry in the flag format because uh, my galaxy g7 actually produces very nice sound I use it as a walkman essentially so yeah this is this is disappointment guys so keep that in mind so thank you for watching see you next time please don't forget subscribe like if you like my video and yeah stay tuned for more stuff stay tuned and stay safe ciao